This is amazing. Most of the time, you can see a hyena using the sand. It can go to the direction of the kills. I'm not going to give a Maybe he's going to the direction of the kill, but most of the time it may happen like that way. And the reason why it's active during the day, like it could be an attraction, the hyena maybe getting a scent. It really makes him to be so early, he's getting so active so early. We know this well. It's got you know, the eye from the left. It's good. He's a little bit blind from the clan that were always there by Chittakat line. A male hyena. But I'm much more interested to follow him and check. But it looks like he'll be back to the road. The way he might show us something. Now hyena most of the time is alone here but there's quite a lot of hyena that might be still lying down or now they're getting active at the same time. If you really get a uh, sun. Check there. Most of the time hyena. It could be urinating there as a part of uh, like it's defecated. And the reason why Haina do that, or scratching on the ground itself, is for the dung. They use the dung sometimes as, as part of uh, scent marking. Now that he's been around there, if other Haina come into the area, they really know that. He was around in that area. Sometimes, because he's so early, as you can see, he's defecated and tried to bury. He's burying that. It's because of other species. As far as lion, leopards, they mustn't pick that sand that the hyena is around the area. Otherwise, the leopard won't hunt freely around the area, knowing that the hyena is around it soon. He kills something, it will be a respond from the hyena. So he's defecated and burying that sign that it mustn't travel that much. It has to be very, very quiet. Because he's, he's a scavenger. He has to scavenge from the lion, hyena, leopard.